when does winning feel like losing when it comes to attorney's fees? Let's get started. Hi everybody, this is Alex Barthet with TheLeanZone.com. Today we're going to talk about when winning kind of feels like losing, and that's when it comes to legal fees. So let me paint the picture for you. You've gone through a court case or piece of litigation, and you've won. Congratulations. Now comes the hard part. Recovering your attorney's fees that you have spent to get to this point in the case. So there are four things you need to keep in mind because while it may seem like the hard part's over, the hard part has just begun. So number one, does the case that you brought involve a contract which gives you the unambiguous, clear right to recover legal fees? So does it say something like the prevailing party in this action is entitled to recover uh, its incurred legal fees and costs or words to that effect without clear and unambiguous language in your contract that gives you the right to recover legal fees as the prevailing party, then you may not have the right to recover legal fees as the prevailing party. Number two, is there a statute, a rule on the books uh, in the state of Florida that gives you the right to recover your fees as the prevailing party? In construction, we run into two statutes that uh, are regularly used. One is chapter 713.29, which is the lien statute. The other is chapter 627, which is the insurance statute, which applies to bond actions. So 713 applies to winning on a lien foreclosure action, and chapter 627 applies to payment and performance bond type claims under the insurance statute. Number three, have you prevailed on the substantial issues in the case? Now this is a very tricky issue that you have to work through with your attorney because it's up to the judge uh, based on what you can argue of whether or not you are in fact the uh, prevailing party on the sig significant issues. So for example, was the case based solely on a lien foreclosure, single count lien foreclosure, and you won? That's a pretty easy issue to uh, decide that you won the substantial issues. But were there complicating factors in the case? Was the lien foreclosure only a $10,000 piece of the case while the breach of contract was $100,000? And while you may have won, it didn't, the breach of contract action didn't have the right to recover legal fees? As you start to parse through these issues, you realize that having won the case may not mean that you're going to get your legal fees. Understand that the court has discretion to uh, determine that one party is the prevailing party over the others and in fact that neither party prevailed even though there may be a right to legal fees under your contract or under the law. Finally, number four, once you've gone through these first three steps you have to determine on the portions of the case that you are entitled to recover fees, how much of the case was involved on those issues. So if we go back to my example where you won on the significant issues in the lien case, but that was a small portion of the whole case, uh, the judge may only award you the time associated with that part of the case, meaning the rest of the case. maybe. 50, 80, 90 percent of the case unrelated to the lien foreclosure, you are not able to recover those fees. So keep in mind that winning the case is step one. Winning the case and recovering your legal fees uh, is definitely an important component that you need to consider at the outset. Talk to your lawyer about the right to recover legal fees because in many instances the right to recover legal fees may come to drive the decisions and outcomes in the case. If you have questions about your construction case, send me an email, alex at barthet.com. See you next time.